here I am in the garden to praise the Lord with you. Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. Hey guys. It's pumpkin season. It's one of my favorite things to grow is pumpkin. I have a small garden, so I have to wait um, sometimes two or three years to grow pumpkins well because I only have a few spots that they really enjoy. So um, I wanted to talk to you about being a small garden and growing pumpkins. We all know they take a lot of space and you have to find ways to grow them. You can grow them up stuff, you can grow them over stuff, you can grow them as a ground cover, you can grow them to give shade to your um, lettuces and such like that. There's a lot of things you can do. You can see this year my pumpkins are, leaves are like, they're bigger than, they're like, they're bigger than heads, they're like, double the size of my head this year and it's because I put in a huge hugel culture last year and the year before that I put in manure so you see how many years it takes me to prepare the space in a small garden so I have the biggest leaves on pumpkins I have ever gathered I am hoping that that translates into the biggest pumpkins I have ever ever grown we can only hope my first pumpkin this year, God rest its soul, it either didn't get pollinated, I tried self-pollinating, you may have seen that video, or it was eaten. But I do have the summer squash coming now, and with the summer squash coming, if it was a little critter that was eating it, and I have the cucumber coming. So with the cucumber coming and the summer squash coming, it is my hope that um, my pumpkins will be safe from now on and that they will be pollinated. I'm trying to keep a lot of flowers in the garden to attract the bees to different spots. But the pumpkins in my area, they grow in partial shade. Pumpkins don't like full summer sun in my area. So I'm hoping that the bees make it over to that corner. I think I saw some bees because the pumpkin flowers are very attractive to certain bees. So I think I'm starting to get them now. So maybe from now on, all my pumpkins will be pollinated. Maybe that's the, the blessing for this video. May all your pumpkin flowers be pollinated and may your pumpkins be big and delicious. <laughs> Hope you enjoy taking a look at my pumpkins. Well, my pumpkin vines. I'm, I'm really grateful to the Lord for them. Yeah, I'm having a real good pumpkin vine year. So here's my pumpkin patch. Just wanted to give you an update. This is a cabbage. Never mind, it's eaten by the hornworms for now, or the cabbage loopers, whatever you want to call them. The army. Um, bugs have come in and if you look you'll see a little darting creature that's a little wasp that's going around and clearing out the situation and there's a little spider there that's going and taking care of it so it's all good I intend to pick a beautiful cabbage from this huge plant in the winter time I think it's a cabbage because that looks like it's a cabbage head that's getting started so yeah and on to what the video is about. These are my head size pumpkin leaves. Aren't they gorgeous? Just gorgeous. I usually eat them but this year I haven't been eating them because I just think they're so beautiful and the leaves are so big that I don't have very many leaves so if I try to eat one these big leaves I haven't gotten many yet maybe in a month or two there'll be more leaves out here it's nice and cool out here this is growing out of a hugo culture so this is growing out of um c4 
see this tree here? Yeah, that was cut last year, put on the ground. These seeds were planted underneath that, and that is what they're growing under. There's actually no more dirt on the surface anymore. It's just those tree branches. And I need to put more dirt as soon as I can, you know, get the resources up. And, um, you know, the pumpkin's growing fine, though. It's growing fine. I just wanted to give you an update on the pumpkin patch. Let me try not to step on any of my blackberries. Um, I garden in rattlesnake area. So if you don't grow something that is a barrier to rattlesnakes, it's not safe to garden, you know, as intensively as I do. Um, in fact, they like to lay on the concrete in the heat right in front of you and they blend right in. So, um, but they can't crawl on blackberries. So that is why I grow blackberries with thorns. And I also got a very good comment. We had somebody come out who was um, considering doing some work for us. And they explained that the blackberries are very dangerous and they would not want to be here at night. Well, I don't want any people coming back at night to rob me. Most everybody in my area has been robbed, but by the grace of God, because I grow these precious blackberries, robbers have avoided our house. We don't have anything worth stealing. You probably couldn't even get anything in our house that you could even sell. You know, it's a bunch of old lady with broke down old lady stuff that nobody wants, you know. <laughs> if you needed any of that stuff, your insurance company would cover it, you know. So that's how that goes. Oh, looks like we got our first bit of um, that white stuff that takes out the leaves. So that leaf I will probably pull and eat because, you know, they can only fight so long but that's okay because pumpkins put out a ton of leaves a ton of nice leaves and that's the only one that shows any signs of faltering the darker color is a um, moroccan squash that's their form of butternut it's what they eat in their stores um i'm hoping it is as productive as a butternut you know so far these have gotten big. They're just now getting their flowers on them. I had one pumpkin grow on this one, and I believe it was eaten because I don't think it fell off, but um, I haven't seen any others. So that's how it goes. Look at how the cream just melts off the top of this rhubarb coffee cake. Rhubarb lemon balm coffee cake. Mm, mm, mm.